हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द बेसिक क्लास ऑफ पीएचपी सो वी विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग फ्रॉम द कोर पीएचपी एंड देयर वी विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग लाइक हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर पीएचपी एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ टूल्स वी नीड टू कॉन्फ़िगर टू वर्क ऑन द पीएचपी लोकली और द सर्वर सो फर्स्टली वी विल लर्न ऑन द लोकल होस्ट लाइक हाउ वी कैन रन द पी एच पी लोकल सर्वर so uh, without wasting a time let's start learning so today i am going to cover very uh, basic parts that is first part like uh, uh, what tools we can uh, consider to install the uh, to run the php so tools needed for php then after we will cover like uh, what is the uses of php why we use php we know like uh, there are lots of uh, programming language available in the uh, uh, tech field but why php is more preferable so that we will cover in this why we use php then after we are going to cover uh, the topic like uh, what commands what syntax basic commands of uh, php what we are going to use here php basic uh syntax uh with hello world program uh then after we will see uh, some basics calculation basics operations or or operators you can say so these uh, four topics we are going to cover in this session uh, definitely this is the first video so try to learn as much as you can so let's start so first of all you need uh, two tools the first one is the editor you need one editor so that editor will be nothing but you can say most popular editor we are using nowadays is vs code so vs code you have to use for uh, editor visual studio code and uh, server you can use local server so that local server you can install uh, xamp or uh, uh, wamp is also popular lamp is only for uh, linux version uh, laptop or a device you can say wamp is for windows and xamp is for cross means you can install it in a mac uh, as well as in uh, windows and lamp uh, linux uh, linux laptop now let's see how uh, in my uh, laptop you can see i have already installed the wamp so earlier i was using them but nowadays i am using wamp so after installing the wamp you can see so in the bottom you can see this is the wamp server uh, this is the icon so first of all you need to start the server so as you can see i have already started let me stop it and show you like how we can start it so now i have stopped it so after installation you have to uh, start the server first then only you will be able to work on that so you can see these are the commands being is uh, started so here you can see the icon of the uh, wam server is going to be green now you can see all the uh, services related to the local host is started here so this is what the wam so how you can access this wam so you have to type uh, local host here in the browser so this way you can see this is the first screen of the wam server and uh, in this uh, wam server means uh, this is your local server so here you have to start developing your php so let me show you in which uh, folder you have to write the code so after installing the wam you will find uh, one folder that is nothing but see in my case i have installed this wam in uh, c drive so you can see wam64 so inside this you can find uh, one triple w folder so this folder is nothing but the root directory of your all the web application whatever you are going to run here so make sure uh, whatever program you are running in php that is uh, inside the triple w folder so for convenience i am going to create one folder here that is uh, hello world 
or hello or you can say uh, practice so i have created one folder that is practice folder so in this folder we are going to uh, learn all the uh, pc uh, php basic classes so let me start this for let me open this folder in vs code simply just copy this your path and start the vs code you can see i have already installed the vs code here in the laptop so this is the icon of vs code uh yeah so this is started uh i have already installed one project let me close it first now from here file uh, file menu we can open the folder yeah this this is the practice folder so this way you can start working on the php so this you can see this folder is empty and uh, you you can access this folder in a browser also so in the browser what you need to do as you know like uh, i have created the practice folder inside the triple w folder so in the url you have to pass only practice folder name after the local host so after the local host simply type practice so it will give you access on the practice folder so as you all can see here no, none of the file is showing because uh, we have not created any file now let's start creating file here so here i'm going to create the first file that file is nothing but uh, you can say index.php later on i will describe you how we are uh, uh, creating this index.php what is the usage of this index.php and how the server interpret this so this is the index.php the extension is the .php because we are learning the php programming language so all the file uh, must have the extension .php then only php uh, can be compiled and interpreted by the uh, server so so let me create the first uh, hello world program so guys uh, this one is nothing but uh, uh, we can say opening uh, tag for php and this is the closing tag of php so whatever you are uh, whatever php command or whatever php code you are going to be executed that must be inside this opening php tag and the closing php tag then only it will work otherwise it will give you the some syntax error so uh, for simplicity i am going to print uh, one uh, string that is nothing but our very popular starting that is hello world every uh, program we start learning from the hello world only so let's print this same here hello world so you can see here i have written uh, this this is the starting php tag and this is closing and the simple echo command i have used this echo is nothing but the uh, you can see acronym of echo means something uh, which is uh, echoing there that is whatever we are writing here it is going to be echoing there let me show you here you can see guys so this is, is showing the same what i have written there that is hello world but one magical thing is like uh, we all knows or uh, sometimes you you may heard like uh, php is a server side programming language so now the time comes uh, i'm going to describe you why this php is called as the server side programming language uh, you all can see here i have written the this three line of code but after executing when i'm going to see the source code so it is not going to uh, show me the complete line of code whatever i have written it means there is someone who is uh, reading our code and compiling the code and the user readable format so that part is nothing but the compiler that is doing that and that compiler is installed uh, in the server side so th that is why this php is called uh, the server side programming language it means whatever we are run, uh, writing here that is going to be processed by some uh, part of the compiler then after whatever uh, resultant we will get that resultant only we will see in the browser so that is why uh, here you can see the part of security like what we have written is not disclosed to the uh, user but the only output is disclosed so this way you can consider like php is sometime uh, PHP is having some type of security that is why it is called as server side uh, programming language so guys this one this way you can start uh, uh, enhancing your and learning the php so this is the first uh, you can say hello world program 
then after we are going to cover this uh, why we use the php so this is the very common question of beginners basically think like uh, lots of programming language are there but why we are start learning the php so we, uh, the first thing uh, there are there are two ideas which uh, which comes when we start the learning any language the first one how uh, after how long time uh, i will be able to work good in the programming language so answer is very simple here because php is very uh, you can say uh, easily understood and uh, uh, simple programming language you can say uh, just for beginners so here in the php you can uh, uh, you can implement all the concept of other programming language as well uh, very easily uh, there are very less uh, number of syntax and quotes uh, and you can use it very simply there is no uh, that much hard uh, uh, rule so the first point is easy to learn easy to learn so this is the first point uh, which makes php more popular among uh, new uh, beginner developer and the next point is uh, very much popular very much popular in a small scale as well as large scale industries it industries so uh, like uh, other programming language java .NET, the php is the uh, commonly used in all over the uh, small to large scale uh, in the it industry so the approach obviously as php is being used in all the industry so you uh, you can get a better opportunity and uh, e easily you can uh, get the opportunity to work in the php that is why and the, the third point is php is server side scripting language so these are the basic three uh, features why php is uh, most popular among other programming languages like java and .NET. so in the later on the descript uh, descriptive way i will cover in the later video but for now this much is sufficient now let's move to the next point that is uh, some basic operations or the operators what we use in the php as you all know like uh, there are some specific operators like plus minus uh, and uh, uh, product and the uh, the and the quotient and the reminder so these are the basic arithmetical operation what we use uh, apart from this there are some logical operators also so those we are going to cover gradually in this uh, continuous learning session so for simplicity and i'm going to show you some uh, basic way like uh, how we can create the variables and uh, we can use those variables uh, in the uh, next uh, learning session so to create the variable in the php we need only to do the dollar see this dollar whenever we type the dollar syntax here so dollar dollar uh, tells the php uh, whatever comes after the dollar is going to be used as a variable so let's suppose i'm creating one variable this dollar a is equals to 12. so here uh, you can see uh, dollar a is going to be considered as a variable which is having the value 12. in the same way going to create another value dollar b equals to 13. so you can see we have two variables dollar a and dollar b so uh, don't worry more because uh, i am going to describe each and every part like how we create the variables and how these variables are going to be interpreted by php but for now just see like uh, how we can move ahead so here i'm going to show you some uh, summation uh, sum of a and b so this way you can see uh, we can show some results here a plus b now let me show you dollar a because it's a variable dollar b how it works yeah you can see it is showing the result of sum of a and b is equal to 25 now again you can see 
we have written this much line of code but uh, it is showing only single line of uh, output this is because php is server side programming language and all the uh, code is uh, being compiled and uh, processed by this uh, php server itself only we are getting the output in the browser so this is the main feature of php which makes it uh, more secure than other uh, scripting language you can see so here we are not able to see the source code so for uh, for this video this much only guys and uh, later we are going to learn very awesome topics which are going to uh, definitely which are going to put you in a more uh, enjoyable mode there you will learn as well as you will enjoy lots of uh, learning there so thank you for this